Hello everybody, this is Maria with Desert Cloud Soapworks and I got a fun tutorial for you today. First, I gotta show you this. This is a gummy saurus silicone mold to actually make gummies. And it's really cool, it comes with two different molds. Well, it's not the different, they're the same molds, but you get two of them. And you get a little dropper along with it. And the video is sponsored by Mama and Me. And you can find them on Amazon. There you go right there, Mom and me. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this mold actually for soap and make a really fun bar of soap. So I'm going to show you the tutorial how I'm going to do this, but first I got to get this open. Before I do that, let me show you this. I got two of them. And this one is going to be given away. So there's going to be a giveaway for this. And I'll go over the details of the giveaway towards the end of the video. Alright, I have it open now, so let's uh, take the cardboard off. And as you can see, we got two molds here. These are adorable, guys. Look at those little dinosaurs. So, these are really cute. And the cool thing is, I mean, if you want to use these to make gummies for your kids or, or whoever, that's great, uh, but the cool thing about it is you can also use this for soap, and on top of that, you can make uh, little small wax melt tarts as well. If you ever uh, work with wax and you have a wax melt warmer, you can fill these little guys up with um, wax and have you know uh, just a bag full of these little dinosaurs and just grab a small handful and put it in your wax melt warmer. So there's a lot of opportunities for these molds. We're going to work with just one today. These dinosaurs are adorable. I swear they are so cute. And it comes with a little dropper. You could use the dropper to fill up each one with the soap, but I know that soap, after, you know, it starts to harden a little bit. So if you want to use this dropper for whatever, or if you're going to do it with your for gummies, then you can do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass using the dropper for today. And I'm just going to do a quick pour and go down the line. I'm probably going to go this way to get different, different dinosaurs because these are all the same going up. Just do a quick pour and let's, let's make some dinosaurs. Start this out, I've got a little bit of white solid um, glycerin melt and pour. I'm going to add the first color, which is going to be yellow. about four drops on this. Spray with some rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna pour just a little bit. You're gonna make a mess so expect it. There we go I got three filled up right there. It's the best part about silicone molds you can always trim them and whatever is left over you've got your uh, scraps that you can save. Now that we got the dinosaurs poured, we just gotta let them sit and harden up because we can't really move any further with what we're gonna do here until these are ready to be used. While I'm waiting for this to set up, I wanna tell you something more about these molds. These are BPA free. They're LFGB, I had to look at that, let those letters right there. LFGB and FDA approved. There's no added plastics. And it does pass the pinch test pinch test meaning it doesn't turn white when you pinch it see it doesn't turn white at all and that's what the pinch test is in case anybody was wondering so yeah that's that's great about these molds because there's nothing worse than getting a, a bad silicone mold that gives you problems so with the fact that it doesn't turn white that's awesome okay now that my dinosaurs are dry and hardened I'm gonna pull them out to get the excess off I just took my soap cutter and I went across them like that and it took them right out. So let's get these popped out of here. We'll see how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Look how adorable that is. That is so cute. Let's get them popped out. These these dinosaurs are so adorable. And another one. Let's look at all the different kinds they got here. Oh, Stegosaurus. I love Stegosaurus.
And Triceratops. Too cute. Don't you just love silicone molds? They're the best. Okay, got them all popped out. Now we're just gonna kind of set these over to the side. Now I got my mold here. I got my clear soap. I'm gonna melt this down. I'm gonna add a little fragrance to it, but I'm gonna leave it clear and show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of RA. Get rid of the bubbles. And let's go ahead and pour a little bit on the bottom here just to get that going. Just a little. The soap is pretty hot right now. So we gotta wait for it to cool just a little bit. Give it a spray. Because the last thing you want is when you put your dinosaurs in, you don't want the color to bleed. You don't want these to start melting as well. This particular soap I am using, this clear base, um, it likes to hold on the bubbles, but you know, for kids it's okay. But uh, I would highly recommend using a nice crystal clear base. This base is not a crystal clear base. And uh, I just kind of start piling the dinosaurs on the inside. And what I'm going to do is start putting the dinosaurs on the top once this sets just enough. I don't want to skin on it, I just want it to cool down just enough to where I can start placing them in there so they'll stay. Basically what it's going to turn out like is just a big giant cube of clear soap with a bunch of dinosaurs inside of it. Here is the dinosaur chunky soap and it's got lots of dinosaurs in there. Kids would really really enjoy this because it's just loaded first of all of dinosaurs. They got sticking out the top and everything with the dinosaurs and yeah kid, this is this is eye candy for kids. I mean it almost kind of looks like candy, but you know, kids shouldn't eat it, and they probably won't as soon as they taste it and <laughs> be like, oh, wait, this is soap. So here's the, the chunky dinosaur soap. And while I was waiting for this to set up, I made another one right here. And let's pop it out. And I did a tie dye type of dinosaur soap where it's just, a, just wisps of the color and just laid them in there, embedded them in the, uh, the bar of soap. So here's another way of using these uh, little dinosaurs. And I, I think it looks cute. It's great. Kids will love it. And uh, well well worth it to get the mold to be able to embed little, little tiny dinosaurs like that. Now with the mold, you can always make gummies too. And again, like I said, the, the little wax melts. But as you can see, it works great for soap as well. Now this, I told you that it's going to be a giveaway. I currently have a giveaway going on right now, which ends at the beginning of the month where you have to kind of guess a number. So I'm going to do this again because this is the best way to do giveaways is guess a number. And we're going to do it again. between A number between 1 and 300. Whoever is the closest or gets right on it is the winner. If I have two of the same, then the names go into a hat. The same thing like I've done with the last giveaway. And we'll pick a winner from, from that. If nobody guesses the number, then the two people that are closest to it on either side of the number, then it'll be a random draw between those two and see who the winner is. I'll have this drawing going on till let's say uh, April 10th. So April 10th will be the end time to get your number to me to win one of these. And it doesn't ma matter where you are, I'll mail it to you. So it doesn't matter what country you're in or anything like that. And it does come with two molds. And if you're going to use this for gummies, I mean it makes 168 gummies, this pack, the pack of two. And you get your little dauber right there. I really, really enjoy these, these um, dinosaur molds. They worked great. As you can see, they come out. They're adorable. They're just so cute. I love them. Now the link to these molds are in the description of the video. Just go down there and click on it and you can be brought to where you can get one and or two or three or I don't know, five, 10, 20, as many as you want. All right guys, thanks for watching and stay awesome out there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.